In fields around the world, a new kind of farm is taking shape, one where robotics, electrification, and connectivity are tested against harsh real-world conditions. Farms do a really good job of getting the macro decisions right, but a lot of times the micro decisions get missed just because of the time frame and us having a look through the data to find actionable results. I think AI is gonna change that quite a bit. Pretty soon, we won't have the grid to provide the power that these data centers need. Something will have to change. Obviously, as the population is growing around the world, we need to enable people to do more with less. This is Farm Different. Presented by DigiKey. Powered by analog devices, little fuse, and supply frame. In Fargo, North Dakota, Grant Farm has emerged as a unique testbed where growers, engineers, and researchers come together to reimagine the future of agriculture. I'm a fifth generation farmer from down by the Oaks area in North Dakota. We got pictures of my great great grandpa with a horse and a one bottom plow. You know, I remember being five years old, following my dad around riding in tractors. The houses are never locked, keys are in everything. Just learning the trade from him. Personally, I wouldn't have it any other way for myself or my family. The biggest determining factor for farmers and growers to adopt technology is to be able to see a clear benefit and value with it. If that technology is solving a problem that's important to the grower from an operation standpoint, it will get adopted. Grand Farm connects the farmer with a technology company. The Innovation Campus is really an extension of the Grand Farm. And what we have here is a facility that brings startups, corporates, researchers, and also the grower together. And over time, what we do is create feedback loops so that the technologist really understands from the domain expert, in our case, the grower, what problems are out there, what needs to be solved, and how they can use technology to do that. And when done well, we can speed up that development cycle from years, decades, to hopefully months and growing seasons. Using AI vision and mechanical precision, iGen's rugged machines run entirely on renewable energy, helping farmers boost productivity while protecting soil health and the environment. This is the iGen Element. It's a solar-powered, fully autonomous weeding robot. So instead of applying chemicals or lasers, it uses hoe arms on the back, just like a human would use a hoe, uh, except the robot can do it. And since it's fully solar-powered, uh, it can be parked in the field all season, no refueling, no battery swaps, it completely gets all its power from the sun. We were able to remotely drive the robot up and down our test plots from our base in Fargo and use that to capture the thousands of pictures we need to be able to move to another crop. From advanced surveying and mapping to UAS and GIS integration, Frontier Precision helps bring pinpoint accuracy to the field. This is our 2024 XAGP 150. They are rated for about 45 acres per hour. It's got about a 10 minute flight time per battery load. With an 18 and a half gallon tank, we get a little over nine acres per load. Just in one year, we doubled our efficiency out in the field. And I think that says a lot about where the spray drone industry is going. With technologies like precision sensing and advanced motion control, analog devices is helping to advance autonomy in outdoor robotics by enabling critical equipment to think, respond, and act whether it is a autonomous tractor or precision planting equipment. We need to move this data very reliably, very fast, and it needs to be robust to be able to maintain performance in very harsh conditions. We work very closely with our end customers to understand the application requirements and challenges that they are currently seeing. We have a lot of parts that have really robust memory and a lot of different peripherals on them. So what that means is that you can have a microcontroller deployed all the way out in the fields, essentially in the middle of nowhere. And even if you're not connecting to them constantly, they can store all of that raw data. So that way, when you go and check on the health of the sensor or on the health of your crops, or if you want to start kind of streaming data back to your phone or an iPad or something like that. We go through multiple design cycles and really work our way from the idea conception stage all the way out to production ready deployment stage. Edge compute's gonna become a big thing in ag. ADI is also working on that. There's less and less space in an application, but the power requirements are going up. Compute is going up. To power that, you need high power density. 
This is a dummy load that we have, which is being liquid cooled with these pipes. 10 modules, each of them is around 100 amps. When you're increasing the power density, it's not just an electrical problem at that point, it becomes a mechanical thermal problem as well. This is a highly integrated 600 amp power module designed for powering GPU cores. 24 modules that are 30 amps. How do you cool something like this? That is what we are testing here. At DigiKey, engineers and farmers align in that they're research focused, they're data driven, they definitely want to see the results. A farmer cannot be easily fooled by technology and they're not going to frivolously throw out the money for ag tech without showing that it's something that can increase productivity and decrease cost. North Dakota leads the nation in 14 different crop productions. So there's a lot of diversity and what Grand Farm is doing is connecting it all. Innovation in ag tech isn't just a trend. It's a roadmap for the future of agriculture. I'm hoping that one day all of these amazing technologies and advances that we're seeing in smart agriculture, maybe they'll trickle down into the consumer space and get to the point where folks growing vegetables or fruits in their backyard can learn a little bit more about their doing and maybe they can be even more effective and become more self-sustaining. Because if we want our farm to be viable for the next generation, if one of my children decide to do it, we have to do a good job taking care of it. We understand that probably better than anybody and we try our hardest to make sure we do that on a day in, day out basis. The fields of tomorrow are being planted today. This is Farm Different.